Hey, what's up guys? Control here and the next Hearthstone expansion has been announced. It's called the Boomstay Project and it's going to release August 7th. So it's just teased today in um, a weird science-y video. Uh, it's like nine minutes long, teased a bunch of stuff. But basically what's coming down to Hearthstone is a bunch of new mechanics. Uh, a few of these I find, well, actually all of them I find interesting, a few um, more than others. Uh, I'm going to start off the first card tease. It's called Spider Bomb. It's a 3 mana 2 2. Uh, it's a Hunter Rare that's in mech, which is really cool. It's magnetic, which means that minions with magnetic can either be played normally or fused with a mech you already have on board to add its attack, health, and abilities. So, say you have Piloted Shredder on the board, you can slap Spider Bomb on top of it to make Piloted Shredder a 6 5 with Death Battle Summon a 2 drop and Death Battle Destroy a random enemy minion. Uh, so, it's pretty sweet. So, the magnetic ability is interesting in that you can use minions in your hand as buffs like say power of the wild on a minion right uh, just buff your minion up like you would in an aggro druid deck uh you know get better trades and get their effects so hopefully with this we're getting some cards that have better effects than spider bomb hopefully because i think this card is kind of underwhelming uh obviously if you make a card with you know this kind of a keyword a little bit too good on its own like say you make spider bomb a 3-3 three, three, where it's actually playable by itself uh, and you don't have to just magnetic a uh, magnetic it to get value then the card's obviously going to be impressive so the 2-2 two, two sat line is fine for that and a really interesting note for this whole keyword is this is going to be way more relevant in wild than it is in standard uh you can see maybe like a little bit more resurgence for mech mage uh some of you guys might have seen me playing that a little while ago played with Mimron so I got that off a couple times super fun but um the magnetic keyword should have helped that deck um uh, play for a more board oriented strategy with a lot of minions uh looking at you book of specters great card for that kind of an archetype and maybe that'll start helping that deck pull together uh, along with other cards like all the Neth. give you the card draw that you need to be able to do well in games so i'm actually really excited about um magnetic for that and I think there's a lot of room to play around with this, but I am kind of worried as well, like we were talking about before, where if there are any minions that are just a little bit too overstated by themselves, they're just gonna be broken, right? Uh, and, and that's one of the things that I hope the devs kind of stay in the boundaries with. I, I'd like to have like a lot of balanced magnetic cards that are interesting and have cool effects that can be added into decks if you feel like their effects are good. I don't really want any that are just too good, like a three mana, three, four. Like imagine if spider One was a three mana, three, four, then I'd almost just have to play Mech Hunter because the card's so good, right? It'd just be too strong. So I'm really hoping that they keep the stats fair on these uh, and the effects interesting. And that's kind of my hope for Magnetic. So that was the first card teased. Uh, really cool for my books. And I'm looking forward to seeing more mech cards for a while from this expansion. And it's great to have them kind of supporting previous archetypes that aren't really in the standard format anymore. Bring those back uh, with new mechanics. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Next up is Biology Project. It's a one mana druid common and it reads each player gains two mana crystals. This card is scary, man. Um, this is probably the card that I'm least happy to see, just because giving Druid ramp is bad in my opinion. Uh, Druid decks right now are already filled with cards that are so good and really reward you for just, you know, using your entire hand to ramp with. Yes, this card has a downsize, but it's a downside, sorry, but it's extremely cheap. And I think that two mana crystals in a Druid class deck is a lot better than two mana crystals in basically any other class, because what you do when you play Druid is, you, you know, you're ramping card for cards like Spreading Plague, you're ramping for Malfurion, so two really good defensive tools, or you're ramping for UI to just, you know, refill your entire hand, and then you'll have 10 mana to use everything with, which is a lot better than a lot of other classes that tend to not do too much with mana crystals. Uh, that being said, though, obviously this card does have a drawback, but I think it's a tool that I'm not super happy to see Druid have just because of the extreme amount of ramp that they already have. Um, and wild cards like, you know, Wild Grow, Jay Blossom, Nourish, stupid package like that, and um, popping off with their big boy spells a little bit too early. The problem with this too is that the crystals are always going to be better for Druid because you're not going to mulligan when you're playing against every Druid class to assume, oh, Biology Project's going to be in their hand, right? I and I'm not saying this card's going to be insane in every single Druid deck. I think it's interesting and, and it will have its niche, but I don't think it's going to be completely busted. Um, but it's it's hard because you're not going to mulligan assuming, oh, my opponent's just going to play Biology Project when they're on turn one on the play. So me on the coin going second. Let me just keep cards that are three mana above, right? You're not going to know that, so sometimes you're going to have a hand that's just way too cheap, and you're not actually going to get value from the crystals. Fortunately, every class does have a hero power, though, so you can get value from the other two mana crystals. Um, you know, in any case, that being said, you're not really getting much value from a hero power unless you're, like, Warlock, right? Uh, that's fine, though. Interesting card, and one that I'll definitely mess around with a little bit in, like, the combo druid decks. So, like, Togwoggle druid, Mally druid, stuff like that it should be fun to play with. Uh, so I think it's interesting, but I'm not super happy that a card like this is printed. Next up is Omega Defender, so it's a 4-mana 2-6 
it's a it's a neutral epic sorry uh called omega defender again it reads taunt battle cry if you have 10 mana crystals gain plus 10 attack so what was teased in the video or no, not teased but announced was a line of cards called omega cards omega cards basically read that if you have 10 mana crystals then gain some obscene effect um, otherwise, they're just normal cards you can play on curve. This is a 4 mana 2 6s really isn't that bad. Uh, obviously, 4 mana 12 6s are a lot better than 2 6s, but I, I don't think this card is like super broken constructed wise. It'll be good off Stonehill sometimes, but that's about it, I think. You don't really run this in your deck. Probably be more of a thing you see in Arena. Uh, hopefully, there's some Omega effects that do things other than give minions stats. Because uh, if that's the case, then they will be good and maybe see play in some Reno decks, for example. Uh, but Omega Defender is definitely not viable by itself. The effect, though, I think is quite interesting and one that uh, I'm curious to see what Blizzard's going to do with. But this is probably the kind of effect and card that I'm least excited about, and even saying that, I'm fairly excited about it, to be honest. I, I think the tease cards, this expansion, have been pretty cool, and um, I I'm actually excited for the Boomsday Project because of this. It's cool, new effects are fun, and you know, I'm hoping that some of the cards have a high power level. It's also fair, so they don't power creep um, everything, but you know, give wild some more viable tools that you can use in your decks. Um, and hopefully, you know, switch the metagame up so I don't have to see so many even shamans anymore. Uh, next up is Electro Storm Surge. This card is super cool. Three mana, three, three, shaman legendary. It's an elemental as well. Battle cry, your next spell is turn cast twice. So, this card is super flexible. You can use this in so many different decks. Uh, the problem is you need to find a home for it that fits. So one card that comes to mind, or one deck, sorry, that comes to mind right away is just Aggro Shaman, uh, one that I love to play a lot. Unfortunately, um, there's not that many super slow Warlock decks in the metagame. If there was, this card would be insane. Getting double crackle for five mana sounds just absolutely bonkers. Um, but if the metagame does slow down, I could see that fitting very well into that deck. You could also play it in other decks like, say, Mally Shaman if you don't want to go for Barnes or anything like that, and maybe get like double card draw with Ancestral Knowledge, five mana draw four, for example. Um, but it's going to have to have a very specific uh, use, and it's going to need you to kind of plan ahead for Electra to be good. But really cool effect, and I think this card is awesome, and I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with it for sure. Uh, next up was a teased one, Dr. Underscore, 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 Mad Genius. This was like uh, kind of that Hagatha card where they just like flashed it on the screen and then moved away and said, okay, well, what's next? I don't know. What's going on? Um, but yeah, it looks like Dr. Boom's back, I guess. So in Wild, you can play with two Dr. Booms now. And this one is in the form of a warrior hero. So who knows if they're going to have more than one hero for this expansion. But here we go, warrior hero. I mean, seems cool to me. I'm happy about it. I like warrior. It's my favorite class. So no complaining. Can play Dr. Boom in my warrior deck and then Dr. Boom hero too. So there's a funny interaction with that. But cool. And lastly, the last card teased is a legendary spell that's used in collectible decks. It's called Myra's Unstable Element. It's a five mana neutral spell. Uh, it's legendary, it says draw the rest of your deck. Pretty interesting effect. Uh, it's gonna have to be one of those combo cards where you really you know, figure out what kind of a deck you wanna use this in. Uh, the only one that would really come to my mind is like Togwoggle Druid when you're about to combo to give your opponent zero cards. Go like Aviana Kuhn, um, Togwoggle, I guess, no, you wouldn't Togwoggle first. So you go Aviana Kuhn, Myra's Unstable Element, Togwoggle, Azalina. So then you just draw your whole deck and swap with them so they have no deck. Uh, that being said, that's kind of overkill, but it's interesting. And that's one scenario that I could see it being viable in for sure. Um, other than that, it's kind of tough, right? Like it's a, it's a very funny effect and one that, you know, somebody will probably find something broken with this, especially in wild, but it's going to require you to sit down and kind of think about. The idea of neutral um, spells is really cool and neutral legendary ones is really sweet. So I think this actually, wait, is this, this must be rogue, right? Let's see chat, what are you guys saying? It's rogue, right? Yeah, it's rogue, not druid. Wait, it's rogue. Yeah, I'm being stupid. A rogue legendary spell. Um, yeah, I'm stupid. Uh, I, I was even more excited about the fact that I thought there was going to be a neutral legendary spell, but okay, a rogue legendary spell. Uh, so we we're talking about Druid. So this card could only really be used in some form of a mill rogue deck, right? Something like that. Huh, I, I don't know then. Well, my analysis on that was bad. It would have been cool if it was neutral. Uh, but yeah, for rogue, um, uh, I honestly could not tell you how you put this in a rogue deck and make it good. Togwoggle was the only thing that came to mind. Maybe like a Togwoggle rogue deck, I don't know. Uh, maybe something with like Thorson too. Thorson, Togwoggle, yeah. So it just seems like it's a solid meme card then. Uh, excuse me, my earlier analysis that was pretty bad, but you know, fun to think about. Uh, and the idea of legendary spells is pretty cool, so I'm excited about that um, in itself. And hopefully, we get legendary spells for other classes as well, and and hopefully some with um, some more competitive effects. Hopefully, uh, I say that as like you know, when King Togwolga came out, I laughed about the card, right? And, and now it's super meta and like tier two deck, right? Uh, so. 
you know, you can always sit back and laugh at cards like this, but you never know when they're going to be good, especially in Wild, because, you know, future synergies come out and cards just become broken out of nowhere. So, uh, you know, doesn't look very good to me initially, but I'm, I'm happy about the concept, and I think that... Um, potentially fit in a cool deck. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's my first kind of intro to the Booms Day project, and I think this is going to be a really sweet expansion for Wild. Um, again, the highlights for me are going to be the legendary spells. It's going to be really cool. Uh, but the biggest one is just going to be the magnetic effect for mech decks. Uh, mech Hunter was one of my first wild decks that I played when I started playing this format. I played it a ton and I loved Mech Mage back when I actually just started playing Hearthstone. Uh, I, I remember when I was like in a philosophy lecture, I paid like zero attention and just, uh, actually it was economics. It was like my first year of university. I was in an economics lecture and all I was doing was playing Mech Mage on my phone and um, like half-assing my notes. Kind of off topic, but <laughs> mech decks uh, are cool, and I'm hoping that we get some cards that'll work for them. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.